Good morning everyone. Sunday morning again. I'm George Ross. This is Retro Reselling. It's been beautiful weather all week. Boiling hot, sun out, blue skies. Gets to Saturday afternoon and it starts drizzling. So what I thought was going to be a huge boot sale, like a full field, is now put out in there. Not really now, but it might have put some sellers off. This week I actually had a message from a subscriber, John Paul. And he asked me how comes I don't pick up wristwatches and I didn't really have an excuse really apart from probably laziness so I even said to him my challenge this week is to pick up some watches my knowledge on wristwatches is minimal I don't know a lot but I know there's good money to be made and obviously they're small they can go in a small box you can have loads of them highly collectible so instead of keep putting it off I'm gonna just go in head first pick up a couple if they look cool if they seem reasonable and we're gonna go from there hopefully this time next year i'm gonna have a box full of watches that's the plan before we head off i've already made an upgrade to my backpack clip here we go i'll put the link down below if you're ever interested but i was struggling with the previous one because it was just side to side so it was hard to get good angles and that this one now has a joint on it so I can do different angles and stuff so the footage should be better with less arm cam <laughs> should be two boot sales I'm not sure yet because we've got a family thing the wife's doing something with the kids so maybe two boot sales I hope so because I didn't go to my second one last week and my shoe trainer man should be restocked for me which is always good anyway let's get going How much is a bike suit? 50 quid. Over a thousand quid it was. Really? When I bought oh dear. it. Yeah. It's a kangaroo lever or something, yes, is it? Yes, it is kangaroo. Oh. It's better than cow hide. Yeah. It's nice. Never been down the road. <laughs> it looks in good nick, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. You take 40? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I have that one, yeah. Nice. 140 miles an hour in me up on the R1. <laughs> so it's used to going. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Lovely. There you go. Thanks for that. Have a good one. Yeah, we'll do. Air on it. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. <laughs> How much is the Furby? 15. 15. Okay. It. We'll come out of the box and we'll put in a. Yeah, I know the feeling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that one? You can spy on people and listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> Three pounds, yeah, I'll take yeah. that one, please, yeah. It's quite good actually, we tried it in work. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, look, we've got a spare oh, there you go, yeah, lovely. Okay. You're right with that box? Yeah, it's fine, I've yep. got a bag just to keep it together. All right, All right thanks for that, cheers. cheers. We do 15 on it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I do 15. That's a retro, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you know, I remember my dad using it when I was there. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, Lovely, you. thanks for that. Cheers. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Heading back to the car now. We do 12 for it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the one, it's nice.
thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. That's oh, my big jump and look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are a little bit older. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's this one as well. Go on, give us 50p. Yeah. I've got the coffee table as well, actually, from oh, you. Have you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'll pick that up while I'm here. I don't know if they work, obviously. That's all right, I'll give they probably do work. Alright. So, there you go. It's on. I'll take the table now as well. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take the glass, but. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had them all delivered online. Yeah, that's the way forward. You know, and. 133 cars mm. plus three extras because I ordered online, um, but they still missed out. That's not right, you know. And then there was there's a car that was only in the film for perhaps 20 seconds. They've got that. Oh, <laughs> Some pedestrian Ford Fiesta going by. Yeah, yeah. How much on the box? Oh, I want all of them. Yeah, just if it clears it for you. What have we got there? Do you want any? 10, 11, 15. Go on, you know you're getting a hell of a deal there, don't you? Yeah. Especially as you've I'll got some American them. ones there as well. Yeah, what's that? Uh, yeah, I'll take the box, can't I? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, thank Cheers, you. Mate. So we just picked up a load of uh, manuals. Well, I'll quickly scan them in. I oh, still twenty-five quid. That one. Twenty-five. Let's do this one. Oh, that's <laughs> apparently a hundred quid. But no, it won't be that. Probably 30. I think I sold one before for 30. Not bad. Filling up nicely. Part one done, first boot sale complete. No watches, I'm afraid. Did have a look, not as much as I maybe should have. Kept getting distracted with the big stuff. And as you can see, there's some big stuff. Got a coffee table, mid-century, little stereo system, got some skates. Yeah, done really well today, really happy. Unsure if I'm still going to the second boot sale yet. I should be because I uh, got to drop the wife and kids off somewhere and then race back again. So I'll be later to it anyway. But yeah, I need to pick up a watch, at least one, just to start me off in this niche properly. Got to do some learning about it. Not sure how much I spent, probably off the top of my head, probably 120, 150. So a good spend up, good quality items again. So yeah, really happy for overcast day today. Breakfast time now. Hopefully, when I switch to the next clip, it'll be at the second boot sale. If not, I'll see you at my unit. See you there. Right, I have arrived at the second boot sale. Uh, I'm actually about 40 minutes behind time. I'm normally here as soon as I open the gates, but I had to drop the wife and kids off in South End. So I've dashed back, yeah, about 40 minutes or so later after everyone else, all the other dealers. So this will be interesting to see what I do pick up when everyone else has been through. So I'm not going to buff one, I'm going to get in there and see what I can pick up. How much is that one? Quid. Okay. Got a book. It's, like, it's like brand new. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my wife. I bought my wife this about 30 years ago. Okay. I've become very flexible, <laughs> and you can see all the books, everything's there. Yeah, nice and clean. 
Well, it is. It's, <coughs> it's not brand new. Yeah. I know that. I know they sell for quite a bit on eBay, but then eBay, I'd never think is really a fair judge of things. Yeah. But, oh, there we go. <laughs> This is what's already been recorded, innit? Ah. <laughs> and that tells you the kind of notes that are being played. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Is it 70s or 80s? 70s. 70s. Yeah. How much? And a bus. You can have both, all of that for, I don't know. Two quid? quid. Yeah, two quid. Yeah, two quid. Uh, yeah, two quid. Uh, yeah, two no, quid. No, Excellent. No. <laughs> We do 15 on this one? No, I do 18 and it's yours. 18? I wouldn't yeah. sell it any cheaper than that because I know that they go for a lot more than that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 18's fine. Yeah, All that's right. fair. Yep. Okay, you Take can't that one. get everything. Yeah, no, yeah, it's really good. Well, like I said, I bet there ain't many people have got the books as well. How much is the phone? Five pounds. Yep, I'll take that one. And I'm done. It's surprisingly sweaty and muggy today, but done okay actually. Uh, quite shoe heavy again. My boot shoes man was here. Spent a little bit with him. Got some good bits. A couple of other bits, vintage -y stuff. Not a great deal, but I've got some quality pickup. So overall, I'm fairly happy. I believe if you're willing to pay up for stuff, then it doesn't matter if you're necessarily there as soon as the gates open because not everyone's going to be prepared to pay up. Obviously not everyone's doing this full time as their main income. It's more of a hobby thing or part time, maybe whatever. But as I'm prepared to pay up, get fair prices for things, then items tend to sit there ready for me to pick up whenever I walk past. And also I've got my regular local guys here that sell me good quality things. So there we go. That's why I say don't be scared to pay up for items especially when they're quality. Right, I'm off home now. I need to get this aircon on. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'll probably be at my unit tomorrow to show you what I got. So see you there. And here we are, Monday afternoon. Selected some items again from the weekend's pickups. A nice vast range again, trying to keep it fresh. Something you haven't seen before with some other bits and bobs. Really happy with Sunday's pickups at both boot sales. Even though it was overcast and it was raining the day before, the sellers turned up and they turned up with some cracking gear. So once again, I'll go through one by one, what I paid, a little bit of info about it, what I'm aiming to list it for, and yeah, hopefully you learn something from it. Now I picked these out because I know I've shown you uh, roller skates before quite a few times, but I've never actually shown you uh, ice skates before. I used to pick ice skates up all the time when I first started and I done quite well but they were very slow and the market suddenly dropped off slightly for some reason so I haven't really picked them up for a while and if I do I'm very selective which is why I picked these up. Bauer is a really good name in ice hockey I believe they're Canadian which obviously is a huge sport over there. This is the Supreme 140s really good size 10 I believe which is my size 
yeah really good condition looks like they've only been worn a couple of times if that really nice only paid i think it was seven pound for these aiming to list these in this condition probably 35 to 40 because of the good name and really good condition these shouldn't linger around for too long so a good solid start there move on to these i've actually already edited the footage from yesterday and i got quite a bit of the rails um i haven't seen this seller before but they seem to have a ton of like vintage and modern football shirt stayed coats i could have spent quite a lot but i did notice a few fakes creeping in there which is why i've only picked out three and also their prices were very up and down it didn't really make sense like this really nice one here i have no idea what the team is so if you can recognize this team then let me know it's puma with this brand i think it's like a dutch drink or something from what i found but this was only three pound and it's really cool good men's size large as well so vintage rare unusual i was always having that at three pound but then a random sort of early 2000s blackburn rovers sort of their premier league shirts were sort of priced at 10 to 12 pounds which is a bit rich but for some reason whatever this one that was only five pounds so it's medium good men's size again I don't pick up kids sizes and football shirts because they just not worth as much and they linger for ages but for a Blackburn Rovers fan from five pounds hopefully sort of 18 20 maybe a bit more if they're if this is a Premier League season so they have been relegated so if it's a good Premier League season they had a bit of joy then might command a bit more price from collectors lastly I picked out this really nice vintagey or probably not vintage but just retro sort of Ukraine I believe this is it's a international shirt number seven on the back that we have got a name and it's Shevchenko number seven if you don't know who he is he's basically a really good player he's retired now but he was sort of a Ukrainian legend slightly older really good name all official it's got a nice Lotto brand nice felt branding on the arm as well this one was only eight pound I think it was off the top of my head 35 maybe 40 if it's really collectible and unusual then more or if it is more common than I thought then it'll still be sort of 20 25 maybe 30. I did actually speak to the seller and his usual boot sale wasn't on today which is why I was selling here but I found out where he does sell so I might be checking that one out because I haven't been to that one before and it's a Saturday one. Now this one was I also got on film quite a good bit of footage on this one the guy was even kind enough to uh, show me a little display on this or a little demo on this so it's all working it's in really good condition inside like minty fresh hardly used again which is awesome he was asking 20 and i think he actually mentioned that they go for a lot online on ebay and he was telling me all this stuff <laughs> but i knew at 20 pounds this was still a good buy because i've had this exact model before with its battered box but even then i still got about 60 to 75 i think it was and that was a couple of years ago now so minty fresh all the accessories really nice box really for its age slight bit of wear paid 18 for this in the end and people have actually been achieving over 100 i don't know if i'll achieve that much but still i'm gonna be aiming 85 95 it's not a massive keyboard just like a miniature one so again nice and easy to package so happy days really happy with that one now i've included this item because i know i was supposed to be looking out for watches and completely failed on that end but binoculars is actually something else I'm trying to learn more about. I've picked them up before, like decent ones, and got sort of nearly a hundred for a little small pair. But I picked this up. I wasn't really sure if I was going to ask. I've never heard of this name, Bressa, Bressia. I'm not really sure. Ten by fifty. They felt nice and heavy, but I was going to put them back down. But they said they're a pound if you want them. So at a pound perfect opportunity to pick them up and do some learning and with a bit of good luck these are going to be listed for around 45 to 50 and the only thing about these is slightly tacky like the slight rubber outing is starting to sort of degrade slightly which is a bit of a pain but it's not coming off my hands this feels a bit tacky i'm not really sure what else to look out on with binoculars apart from weight normally when i pick them up if they've got a bit of weight to them on your hand then it's worth looking them up on ebay seeing what they go for but then saying that I've picked up sort of similar before and they've only been worth sort of 10, 12 pound. Use your technology, 21st century technology. Pick them up if they feel good and if they're asking a bit too much, maybe put them back down, walk away, 
quickly look it up on eBay maybe, see what they go for and then come back again. Because these aren't really picked off really quick at the boot sale, so you should have some time to do your research. Also got this on film. It's just a load of like strategy guides, like giving tips and that. And there's also these as well, like sort of cheats and guides and things. He's a local dealer that does like gaming stuff and electronics and he actually prices quite well. But I did see this box and he was asking two pounds per book. So I sort of went away, sort of done a little bit of Amazon research because these will be straight to Amazon being books. And I remember, I think I had Final Fantasy X, I think that is Final Fantasy X. I've sold this before for about £30 over the winter. I got it from a jumble sale. It was £2 a book. I've got 11 big books here and then these sort of five smaller books. I wasn't bothered about them. Offered him 15 He took that. He knew I got a good deal. I knew I got a good deal. Because, like I said, I got, I think it was £30 for this one here. And the cheapest FBA seller at the moment is actually £99, which is crazy. I won't list it at that. I'll probably chance me I'm at 45 50 maybe. But there's also this slightly rare one, X2. We've got Resident Evil. I don't think that's worth as much. But then there's the online one. There's another Final Fantasy X there. Slightly worse condition, but still. I haven't looked these ones up yet, but even if they're not worth as much, I still chuck them up on Amazon. Even if they're sort of 12, 15 pound ones, they're in the box and they're out of the way anyway. Then these were in the box also. I'm not sure what they're worth, but probably nothing really sort of retro they're probably ps1 uh, ones which is quite cool or nintendo but yeah i can't see these being worth a lot i might bundle them up maybe or just donate them or if you're interested drop me a message i'm sure we can do a good deal on them for your gaming collectors so yeah from my 15 pound no idea what this listing's worth but obviously two books they're gonna be listed at above 30 so cracking deal so I got to my second boot sale late, about 40 minutes late, like I said. But this is why you shouldn't be afraid to pay up for items. For my shoes, boots, man, I got these two. I got some other bits, but I picked these out as the favourites because brand new and tagged again, also with boxes. I've done my research, they're both real. He's quite good when it comes to sort of fakes, and I've never picked up a fake from him. I've paid £20 each for him, and I've looked them up. Obviously, brand new and boxed. I should be easily £50 plus on each pair. I've briefly looked them up. These are probably sort of £60 to 80 brand new unboxed on eBay. Really nice condition, size 10. And again, these are size 10, new unboxed with tags, minty fresh. These should be the same again, sort of 60 to 80 pounds on them. So even though the margin isn't as great as sort of picking them shoes up for two to five pounds, 20 into sort of 60 minus fees is still a healthy, healthy profit. Not every pickup is gonna be dirt cheap and then sell it for a really high margin sometimes especially when you're full-time you've got to pay up to just keep ticking over get them bills paid that's what it's all about and last item for this video is this really nice sort of teak woods mid-century i'm not sure if it's g plan or not but i think it's g plan or g plan style glass top coffee table got this from a guy that charged me only 50p for a sony radio that you saw in the footage but i had to pay 20 pounds for this one and i was happy to pay that he was telling me all about it and how much they go for on eBay, etc. But I was happy to pay 20, that's a nice fair price. No damage to the glass or anything, nice and clean, doesn't smell of smoke. Uh, the wood's in really good condition, nice grain on it. Might still give it a bit of a polish, a bit of tea coil, just to get out any imperfections. But overall, this is in great condition. So what should I list it for? Obviously I paid 20 and with my courier companies, I've got a couple of courier companies I use. So this is not collection only, this is opened out now to the whole country, which will help this shift. I'll be listing this for about between 120 to maybe pushing it 150. When I first started in reselling, before I knew about the general items, I was all about mid-century, sort of vintage, antiques, etc. So this was one of the very first things I was picking up. And the prices have actually gone up. I've had one of these before, sort of, this was going back three years ago now. I think I only got about 75 I think it was, 75 85 The prices have gone up to now 125 and upwards. So vintage mid-century is still in high demand, still very much wanted. And every year that goes past, it's just going to get harder and harder to get. And there we go, another boot sale video finished. I've got a lot more to crack on with. I've actually filled me racking up again. Only a little bit of space left. Obviously, I've picked up some other bits that I haven't shown, but... 
obviously I can't let this video drag on and on it takes a lot of editing so hopefully you found them bits interesting a few different bits there hopefully some good tips and advice for you to take out with you when you're sourcing out in the fields I'm almost at that two and a half thousand sub mark charity skydive maybe even when this is uploaded I've already hit it and I'm gonna have to be booking it and deciding what charity still not 100% sure on what charity what cause to be raising money for did say originally sort of mental health related but I've always wanted to raise money for sort of children's hospitals uh, Great Ormond Street I haven't decided on the cause might do a couple but yeah uh, thank you so much for the support continued support blows me away every time I get really nice messages on like a daily basis so that's really kind of you right then I need to get packing <sighs> always forgetting the codes I've got some packing to do big heavy items I didn't sell that much this weekend only six items I think it was but higher higher items which is all good so yeah, I need to go and do that I'll see you in the next video bye bye